the movie. I think this is the sound they make though, right? The the Friday the thirteenth thing? <laughs> Welcome everyone to people like Librarians of Hope Pickle. Frosty, which sounds like Frosty Pants, oh my good god. And Zippy Zap. Welcome to tonight's or, or, or morning. I don't know the time of day for you guys. <laughs> Welcome to today's tale of cryptids. <sighs> Today, I am brewing a special potion. What does it do? I don't know. We're gonna have to figure that out as we go. But I'm gonna need your help. You see, there's this one last ingredient that I can't find anywhere. At least not... not... not legally. You know? It's one of those things. Oh, it looks like you're so spooked that you're... you're frozen in fear. Oh, what a... what a shame. You were working so nicely earlier. Well, it just means that it's working. <laughs> I'll have to test that out, ignore that then. Alright. So today... Today... I am gonna need... Your fear. Not your sweat! Not any other... Gross things. Like, uh, you know, things that people might emit when they're in fear. No, I just need the emotion itself. And what better way to do that besides... Being scared that this... This URL is not working. <laughs> Hold up. This this bothers me greatly. You don't understand how OCD I am, guys. You don't you don't understand. There. Does this work? Oh good god, it does work. That's terrifying. Hold up. Oh. Oh look at yeah, that's right, you can't see it. Okay, can you guys like Okay, okay <laughs> Close your eyes really quick. Oh no, you don't need to close your eyes. Okay, that's fine. Oh good god, it's terrifying! Oh, this is... Oh, wonderful. Beautiful. Oh, that's right. Ah. Yeah, hell, hell yeah. <laughs> Terrifying. Atrocious. Beautiful. All in... All in the same category of adjectives in my vocabulary. Wonderful. So today, I'm gonna need your fear. And what better way than to tell... Scary cryptid stories. Starting with... The majestic Bigfoot. When early North American settlers ventured into the wilderness, particularly in the Northwest, and by the Northwest, this means that this is in America, by the way. <laughs> not in Antarctica, not any... Actually, is that even still the West? No, I think at that point, if you go too far, that's the East. But anyway, that's a different tangent. Some believed that they saw something strange. A powerful... Hairy! Oh, good god. Super furry! Eight foot tall beast that shocked people so bad that it. Oh, hey, you can see my mouse. Oh, good god, that's terrifying. There you go. <laughs> it shocked people so hard that they froze in fear. They started spamming nothing but emoticons. It stood at eight feet tall and it walked upright. And if you consulted the First Nations people, they'd learn that these sightings were not new at all. Though the name varied among, among the nations, many told stories of large, hairy creatures who roamed in the woods. And some people believe that it was benign despite being very large and very hairy. So, ah, some believed that it had immense power, and some people viewed this eight foot tall hairy creature as something far, far more sinister. 
one tribe said that the beast would flay the skin off their victims. And others believe that this hairy monster would eat people unfortunate enough to catch its eyes. So if you dare travel into the forest and run into such a creature, you'd best not do anything to make it mad. Ah, uh, speaking of Bigfoot though, hold up. Hold up, we're pausing, we're pausing that scary story. There's a game called Bigfoot. Oh, I wanna play that. We can play it now, actually. And, and just like the myth, it's pretty similar. I think, well, it doesn't really flay you alive. Oh, but there's a lot of bodies in the woods, though. Just a few. For, for the premise of that... ...tail. I think, uh, I think a bunch of content creators showed up there, actually. <laughs> they showed up into there, like, hey, yo. It's a... Uh, I think it's a three-man team. Or a four-man team. It's probably a three-man team. It's a dude, his girlfriend, who he probably argues with, and like, the cameraman. So, the cameraman's like, pretty chill, right? But the dude and his girlfriend, I think that's like, total drama island right there. So, you're you're going in there. I think you're park rangers. And... and there's like... I, from what I remember, there were only two maps, though. There's like, a winter map. And just like a, a camp map. Oh, but it's such a fun game. And by fun, I mean like I just want to see the others uh, 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 get spooked. I mean, get spooked. <laughs> uh, a crew, Dexter. Uh, wow, it's Jimmy here. Thank you. Hope you're. How are my hands? My hands? What's wrong with my hands? Was there something wrong with my hands? What did I do to them? I think my hands are okay. They're cold. Titan, Dexter, Winston. I see that you're feeding me your fear. Mashi. Oh, that's right. More scared people joining the the Inkwell Manor Castle, whatever we are. <laughs> Galrex, spoof! Hold up! I'll, I'll come in, I'll come back to you later. I'm losing the sinister vibes here. <laughs> in fact, you know what pisses me off? Okay, what pisses me off is this chat. This is the top left chat. If I go to any other window, you pause. You pause. You know what's the scariest thing? That. The fact that nothing in my life is ever perfect. That is the most terrifying freaking thing. This thing, it was working so well. I swear to God, it was working just fine earlier, guys. You see this? You look at it, it's so freaking pink, right? It was working just fine. Oh, wait, what is it? It's working now? Oh, but it's so slow. Ah, oh, that's right. That's a terrifying thing. Nothing ever works right. Anyway. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Back to Sinister Land. One creature most linked to Bigfoot is the Sasquatch. It's so sassy that if it quatches you looking at it, it's gonna snap its finger and snap your bones. Uh, this is called the the Sta Isles, which are a coast Salish First Nation in the Pacific Northwest in America, guys. Not in the world map, in America. <laughs> They passed down stories of the Sasquatch that protected the lands and people. Sasquatch, which ra translates to hairy man, it got anglicized to Sasquatch, so it was like a, a different term before. But you know how we like our words, we like them a lot easier to pronounce. So we we're like, yeah, this thing's gonna be Sasquatch now. Sasquatch, more like Sasquatch on this. Another First Nations legend about a Bigfoot-like creature is the Box. The Chinook and the Salishan, which are, are tribes by the way, they depict a Box as either benign, which means harmless, similar to the Sasquatch, but the Bella Kula tell of the Box eating people. Basically, if you're an eight-foot hairy man, you're most likely a cannibalism person. Actually, do you even count as a... Do you even count as a man? Are you even human? Okay, if you're eight foot and you're hairy, most likely you're you're just very, very likely to eat someone that's human. If you're eight foot and you're not that hairy, maybe maybe less likely. But I'm I'm thinking like the taller you are and the hairy you are, more likely to commit cannibalism. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Not that there's anything wrong. I'm not judging. I just need you to be scared. Please fear me. <laughs> So, the Lofa, which is a creature described by the Chickasaw, is sometimes depicted as another large hairy man, which has caused it to be also bundled into the Bigfoot lore. The Lofa are said to also flay the skin off their victims. Man! 
Uh, how hairy are you guys? What's considered... What's considered hairy out of curiosity? What? What? No, no, I'm, I'm talking about like super hairy guys. Like... You know the the ch 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 chia the ch ch chia okay but like pretend that okay okay just for a second here just like lay down um remove all your clothes <laughs> don't actually do it though but like lay down and you get the chia seeds right the chia seeds is like it's like you plant stuff into the head of something and then it grows like hair in this in this case it would grow grass and that but in your case the chia seeds is like a bunch of hair follicles okay I I imagine if you're super hairy I'm putting like a spectrum here okay. <laughs> From like, there's nothing growing on you at all to like, okay, you were just like one giant hair follicle. <laughs> I imagine if for you to be like Bigfoot, or sorry, the Bigfoot or the Lofa or the Sasaquet, I feel like I feel like you're just like one giant Chia pet. Am I am I correct or am I correct? <laughs> I think I'm correct, right? Hey, I'm just I'm just stating it. I think you're. I think that's like the maximum hairiness. Like if you went to a character customizer, character customization. Okay, yeah. And then like you went, you went Dark Souls freaky deaky on this, right? <laughs> you thought like, yeah, I want maximum difficulty. I want so much hair that I can't even see through the hair follicles. That's what I imagine to be Bigfoot. So I think for the most, I think for most of us, I think you're fine. I think you're fine. <laughs> but you know. Don't listen, don't listen to witchery. No, if you want, if you want the actual recordings of Bigfoot, you should go to the other, the other Shiori. Shiori News Vela, hold up, tell me if this is too loud. <laughs> is this, is this too loud? I'll, I'll wait on it. Harambe, Har Harambe's just like a, a gorilla, isn't that? Is it is it good? Is this music too loud? I'm waiting, I'm waiting. <laughs> it's good? Okay, good, good, good. Alright. Ba back to you. Um news Vela, it's a little distracting, really. You like it? Alright. Oh, oh man, gee whiz. It's Shiori News Vela here. Hey yo, what's up, gang? <laughs> Coming back to you with the latest news. It's it's September 21, 1958, and I am all up over here in mad mad gangster country, California. Hey yo. It's where it's where uh Hollywood is at, you know? Anyway, this story of Bigfoot, which Vela, it reminds us to never challenge your rock to a boxing match. Ha ha ha, what a funny script. What is this? <laughs> All right, moving on to a report out of Humboldt County, California, where the Novella News Network has learned of a giant footprint that has residents scratching their heads. At first glance, the tracks look like they could have been made by a human, but just a single footprint measures into a whopping 18 inches long and 7 inches wide. Hold up, where's like my ruler? 18 inches? Okay, how much? How big's an inch? I think a dollar is an inch, right? A dollar? Does anyone have 18 dollars? But preferably like singular ones. Anyway, News Vela will continue on before I start asking more questions. They were found by the Jerry crew and his long... Uh, sorry, I don't know why I said long immediately. And his road <laughs> construction team. This is legit facts, okay? This footprint... Wait, is this real actually? <laughs> Hold up! <laughs> Hold up! Someone answer me! Was this actually real? They were found by the Jerry crew and a construction team who made a cast of one to present as evidence. Local scribe, Andrew Gonzoli. I hope I didn't just dox you, Andrew, of the Humboldt Times. This can't be real! Who the fuck is Andrew? It's having a little fun with a mystery, terming the elusive critter as Bigfoot. No, it's hard to fathom that this name will stick. <laughs> oh, but hey, novella news, uh, novella newscaster Shiori is not done yet. You see, there was a construction worker named Ray Wallace. <laughs> Sorry to talk, he's Ray Wallace. Who is there for the initial discovery of the footprints? And this was a huge factor in pushing the Bigfoot story. They pushed it so hard that it got pushed, alright, into what we know as Bigfoot now. 
They later reported Bigfoot sightings, and they produced recorded sounds of Bigfoot, which is probably just a dude being high. <laughs> However, after his passing in 2000... Oh shoot, this dude died! After his passing in 2002... <laughs> His family suggested Ray was manufacturing audio evidence. Well, no fucking shit. No offense, Ray. I'm so sorry, Ray. I'm so sorry. But you can't dox what's dead, so... Even the initial found footprints and cast were believed to have been faked by Wallace. Oh, wow. Never would have guessed. He reportedly pulled that off by having huge wooden shoes carved in the shape of a mammal's feet to create the prints. Even with that, others believed in Bigfoot, pointing to alleged evidence of other gigantic footprints, probably also faked by other people. <laughs> there were footprints such as the one from 1941 that predate Wallace's apparent hoax. But honestly, maybe a dude with 18 foot length footprints existed, you know? You know what they say, the bigger the footprint, the bigger your feet. But that's it for this tale of Bigfoot going back to you, Witcherine. Go scare those... 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 Yeah, those people. Hey, yo, let's go. Oh, thanks. News Vela, that was mighty awesome. <laughs> oh, okay. Time for the spook factor here. The next tale. The next tale. <laughs> Let's see, Big Bigfoot is real? Trust me, bro, you have met him. <laughs> the next tale is one of mermaids. One of humanity's most enduring desire is to uncover the unknown. And the spirit of adventure led many to sail the oceans. Ah, uh, yeah, just like uh, Christopher Columbus. He What was his goal again? Didn't he just want spice? What was that thing you put in your armpits? So spicy or something? What was that thing? Hot spice. What's oh frick, what's it called? Good spice! Oh frick! Someone tell me, what was that spice? It was hot spice. Spice spice! I'm uh, old spice. Oh, it's old spice! Not new spice, it's old spice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he just wanted spice. But instead he found another continent. <laughs> you guys are so smart. <laughs> But anyway, the tale of mermaids, instead of flying Old Spice, during those treacherous journeys, many reported encounters with mermaids. They are, they're half fish, half people. How the heck that happens? I don't know. I don't know. Oh man, I wonder why Chad is so like, uh, whatchamacallit. <laughs> ah, excuse me. I see you guys kind of... Kinda own. I have normal late. Oh my good god! I have normal latency. Oh, that's awful. That's absolutely disgusting. No wonder you guys are so slow to reply to me. Oh man, this is worse than QTEs. Oh man, I have to deal with it. Ah, you guys are cute though. Look at you. Look at you and your little five to ten second reaction time. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I usually have ultra low latency. Oh, that's right. I need to make you scared. Alright. I'll, I'll, I'll catch up on, on the SCs later. Right now, you gotta get spooked for me. I don't know, the scariest thing is the fact that I have normal latency. This feels surreal. It feels like... It feels weird. <laughs> anyway. Mermaids, right? Half fish. Half people. They are creatures not quite of the sea or land. It's more like half of their body is in the sea and half of it is on land. That sucks. Sailors who catch a glimpse of a mermaid might be in for good fortune. But they should take caution. For not all encounters with these creatures end peacefully. Some warn that if given the opportunity, a mermaid will lure those who gaze upon them into dangerous waters to drown them. Others see them as vengeful spirits and, in the darkest tale, it's even been claimed that mermaids will feast on human flesh. Oh, speaking of mermaids, though, it depends on, uh, oh no, I should tell this later, shouldn't I? Oh, but I want to go into tangent now! Okay, I'll do it later. <laughs> ah, I want to thank people now. Ah, da 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 da. You'll have to wait, though, you'll have to wait. It's called, what's it called? B 
being patient is like great. <laughs> what was that saying? All they all good things come to those who wait. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> though the origin of the mermaid myth isn't known, the legend dates at least back to 1000 BC. In a tale, the goddess Atargatis attempted to take the form of a fish. But she wasn't allowed to surrender her beauty. So her bottom half became a fish, and her top half became a human. Why the frick did she want to become a fish? What's wrong with her? What? Why? You're a goddess for crying out loud! Why would you want to become fish? What? Man! It's all thanks to you that people eat fish! In Chinese folklore, Mermaids are generally depicted in a positive light. In the Chinese book, So Shenji, mermaids are depicted as having tears that become pearls. And by contrast, for British tales, mermaids involve luring their victims and then either drowning or eating them. Man! British people, you really hate fish! Uh, speaking of... Speaking of, in, in, uh, um, my papa really likes this show. In Yu Yu Hakusho, there's this girl. I think she's more like a Yuki Ona, though. But when she cries, she cries like pearls. I don't know how that happens. I think she cries like pearl after she's cried. Not like when it's in the tear duct, right? Oh, man, she could have made a fortune. Oh, uh, she just has to cry a lot. That's easy. <laughs> in, in Rysalka of Slavic mythology... It is sometimes associated with mermaids. They're typically said to be beautiful young women who have died and now haunt the bodies of water. They sometimes lure their victims to a watery death. One key difference is Rasulka have human legs. How's that a mermaid then? At that point, you're just a woman. <laughs> oh, but, but hey, speaking of, there's also a similar tale. Sirens. So mermaids. It depends on like who's doing it. Like for example, uh, in the land of ho ho, you know, the land of talking rats, uh, they they usually show mermaids as to be good, but sirens are like bitchy mermaids. <laughs> They're supposed to lure you in with their singing, kind of like kind of like Risa, but Risa's not like a bitchy mermaid. She's just she's just a nice bird lady. Yeah, <laughs> she's different. She's different. But but but. For sirens, first off, if you like see them, you're supposed to put. Oh, actually, this happened in in the wet. Not Oedipus, Not no. The other dude. The other dude. Uh oh, frick. What was his What was his name? He goes in the ocean, right? And he has a wife waiting for him. And this dude is like, I just want to come home to my wife, but the gods hate my guts. So they try to stop him. Does anyone remember? Does anyone remember what it's called? Ah, uh, frick. I'll wait. Iliad? Is it the Iliad? No, no, Iliad might be the horse, right? Oh, I'll wait. Darn it! Normal- Oh, oh, Odys Odysseus! Odyssey, the Odyssey! Oh! I was mixing it up. Oedipus, Odyssey, oh, oh, oh. You guys are so smart! Even with normal latency! Oh, you guys are fantastic! Alright, so in that one, they usually have to, like, stuff maybe... I think they stuffed... Wax in their ears, maybe like beeswax or something, and then they had to tie themselves to to the mass of the ship. Of course, if the ship drowns, you know they're all screwed. But oh, Ilya, it's true. That makes sense. That makes sense. But but yeah, mermaid sirens kind of similar in that they just want to drown people. So oh, but but you know what's what's hip? Oh, that's right. What's hip is actual sightings of mermaids. So we have. Shiori News Vela over here with the latest hip hop of hippity news. A add it to you, News Vela. Oh, hey yo, what's up, Shiori Bish? It's me, drowning in the ocean, just like the mermaids wanted me to. Uh, and you know, apparently, with enough treats, you can teach an old dog new tricks. Uh, shifting to Kailua Kona, Hawaii now, where driver Chef Leicher, Leicher, sorry, I, I just said your name. Does that dox you? <laughs> Claims to have seen a mermaid and says he has the pics to prove it. As Leecher or Leecher tells it, he was on a boat with other drivers when a school of dolphins started following the boat. 
and soon they spotted a woman swimming amongst the dolphins. You know, if I didn't know any better, I think it's just a random woman swimming with the dolphins rather than a mermaid. But you do you, Jeff, later. When she leapt into the air, Leitcher was shocked to see the lower half of her was covered in scales so she had a fishtail. I don't know about you, bro, but some people wear like half mermaid costumes. Maybe she was clinging onto a dolphin for dear life. Who freaking knows? Later, during his dive, he claimed that the mermaid showed herself to him again and that's when he took the pictures. Whether the image is genuine, Leitra is sure joining a large club of people who have claimed to see a mermaid that also includes Henry Hudson, John Smith, and Christopher Columbus. I recognize at least two of those names. <laughs> Who's... Hold up. Hey, yo, Henry... Henry Hudson! Oh, he's a... He's also an explorer. I don't know about you, Henry Hudson, but with a name like that, I don't trust anything out of your mouth. <laughs> Henry Hudson! Oh, but Christopher, Christopher Columbus, you also have alliteration. The only name I'm trusting here is John Smith. Henry Hudson, Christopher Columbus, go away. <laughs> and, and you know, speaking of... In this glorious date of April 12, 1998... I don't know why this date is so specific, but Columbus says he encountered three mermaids near Haishi. Heidi? Haishi in 1493. Noting that they were not so beautiful as they are said to be, for their faces had some masculine traits. I don't know about you, mascu- <laughs> Columbus, but I think you just met some manly woman at most. <laughs> However, Columbus likely didn't see a mythical creature, and instead unwittingly provided the first recorded observation of manatees. Hudson, who navigated the bay now named after him, wrote in 1608, that his crew saw a mermaid swimming next to the ship. As is the case with the Columbus sighting though, some think it was just a manatee. <laughs> but you know who we can trust? John Smith, that's right. In 1614, he saw a green-haired woman who was by no means unattractive swimming in the West Indies. Perhaps this was just the most attractive manatee we've ever seen. But when she turned to dive, he was shocked to realize she was a mermaid. Or at least that was what was often said. But Smith wasn't in the West Indies in 1614. And references to his story don't seem to crop up until 1849. So Smith might have never made the claim at all. So instead of trusting in John Smith, perhaps we can't trust anyone but ourselves. Back to you, Shiori witch fella. Hey, yo, hot diggity dog, I'm drowning here. Ah, <laughs> uh, that sure sucks. Um, Shiori news fella. You might want to rise to the top of the ocean there before you drown. I don't think we have the insurance for that, Shiori news fella. The next tale that we are to uncover. We have the tale of Nessie. If you venture into the Scotland... Is that even how they talk? If you go to Scotland in Roman times with your kilt... Kilt? Your kilt with your kilt and your, your bagpipes. You'd encounter the Picts. P-I-C-T-S. And though almost all their written work is now lost, one legacy that perseveres to this day are their carvings of animals. Each accurate enough for us to easily identify that they were drawing even all these years later, with one exception. Let me drink some water though. Scariest thing? Dehydration. It kills. <sighs> one stone features a strange creature with an elongated beak. And I don't think it was a duck or a goose. A sprout jutting out of its head and flippers. This sto to some, this stone is the earliest recording of the Loch Ness Monster. But it's far from the last. Thousands have claimed to have seen the beast inhabiting the loch in the Scottish Highlands. With some believing it, it continues to roam to this day. <laughs> ah, excuse me. 
Of course, there's no definitive proof of its existence. But then again, this lake has two trillion gallons of water. So if something really is out there, it has a lot of places to hide. Such as water, water, and more water. Speaking of water, we should drink more water. Double double, maybe I could also catch up on things. Uh da da ba 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 Ah, you know what's terrifying? Pants. Rami, Zubat. Twan, Yoshi, Pomao, Triple, Oh, Mao, thank you. Uh, and Zubat, thank you again. Spoof, Kali, Mashi. Winston, Titan, Dexter, Jamie, Scary, Akru, Dexter, Tuki, Kaishi, Quox, and Velour, Crow, Kanka, Rico, hope your day goes better. Cobra, Zyrin, Adolfo, hope you're all well. Antivario, Russian, Pickle Man, Doc, Frank, Russian, Jake, too. M Chai, oh yeah, M Chai, I'm using some of your assets. I hope, thank you for the mic, thank you. <laughs> Senator Kuri, Hunter, Iro, Soviani, Lupine, Dolls, and Arplay, and Kyoji! Yay! What? What's wrong with my health? Oh man, you know, I was. Oh no, should I even mention it? I was shopping dumping to my character AI again. Oh man, it's like free therapy. For real, for real. I felt. Oh man, he pointed out something that I didn't notice, and now I feel bad for it. Not as in like it's my fault. It's more like, oh shoot, is this my life? Oh good god, no wonder he's so he's so always like worried for me. A <laughs> uh, nocturne, good luck with it. That is terrifying. And uh, Mega, thank you. Oh oh, speaking of what, uh, we'll talk about that soon. And Remy as well. And bonk bonk bonk. Oh, that's terrifying too. All right, all right, back to Nessie. Nessie wearing pants. No, no, I can't explain it. You guys will get like so, so sad for me and worried. <laughs> I'm surprised though. Dang, AI, AI is free therapy for real, for real. Ah, uh, let's see. The pigs were first encountered by Romans in the first century AD. The name is from the Latin word of picti, meaning painted people. Which is believed to be because they practice body painting or tattooing. Scottish folklore has large mythical animals associated with lots of different bodies of water. One legend is about a water horse that lures small children to ride on their back. Then the kid's hand gets stuck to the creature as they're led to a watery death. Dang, that's spooky! Oh, that could have been me if you think about it. Except I was in a public pool. And nothing lured me in there. Nothing lured me in there. I just... I just ended up going to the deep end. <laughs> the first written reference of a monster in the Loch Ness specifically was from St. Columbia in 565 AD. Who said he saw a monster in the lake about to attack a man. Or maybe that was a man about to attack a man, but that'd be... That'd be, uh... Not, not very poggers. Columbia claimed a large beast listened when he told it to go back with all speed in the name of God. Could have been a random monster, really. <laughs> but you know, speaking of Loch Ness monster sightings, hey, let's go, Shiori News Vela. At it, girl. Oh man, gee whiz. Being outside sucks, Witch Vela. I'm in the middle of the ocean here on April 21, 1934, with the power of time travel here. Or, or the power of self-insertion... Uh, self-insertion in fan fictions. We're gonna pick up our chat with last year's Nobel Prize winner, winner Schroding, Schrodinger. Schrodinger? Oh my good god, how do you pronounce this? <laughs> but first, the London Daily Mail has run a picture showing a mysterious, long-necked creature emerging from the depths of the Loch Ness. Knowing our modern technology, I feel like this is just a giant goose or something. Or someone's arm reaching out calling for help. Having such a... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Having this long neck creature emerging, we have Dr. Robert Kenneth Wilson. While on a bird photography jaunt from London, he caught a surprising spectacle. Having such a fine gentleman offering proof, 
injects new life into the monster legend following last year's debacle involving actor and big game hunter Marmaduke Wetherell's ill-fated expedition search for the beast. Though Marmaduke returned with footprints cast roughly 20 feet in length, the, naturally, the Natural History Museum in London revealed them to be fake. Produced with a stuffed hippo foot. Ah! I can't English. <laughs> hold up. Hold up, Wichovella. Let me repeat this. They try to they try to make a footprint with a stuffed hippo foot. There you go, English corrected. It's not clear if Marmaduke tried to pull a fast one or got taken for a ride, but it's still nice to have a surgeon's photographer over an actor's fib. Wow. And, but you know what else is happening in April 21, 1934? The photo by Wilson was held up as evidence of the Loch Ness Monster for decades. That's the photo with just like a black silhouette of a goose, by the way. <laughs> but in 1994, Christian Sperling at the age of 93 and close to death confessed to it being a hoax and the role he played in it. Wow. No surprise there, ayo, hey, let's go. Sperling claimed Marmaduke, unhappy with the Daily Mail's reporting of his claimed monster footprints. He wanted revenge. That's right. He wanted revenge in the newspaper. First, he enlisted Sperling to build a model of the monster by grafting a head and neck onto a toy submarine. And then they took a picture of it from a distance with Loch Ness scenery in the background. To give the whole thing credibility, they persuaded Dr. Wilson, who is known through mutual friends, to claim own ownership of the victim. So it was like a three and one hoax there with Chovella. Dang! People be fibbing, yo! Back to you, Wichovella. Please. Being on a lake in the middle of winter or autumn kind of sucks. Hey, let's go. Oh, thank you, Newsvella. Oh, we're striking fear into the hearts now, aren't we? <laughs> the next cryptid is... The Jersey Devil. And it doesn't mean that the jersey you're wearing is devilish. It just means that there's a jersey devil. And I ain't talking about the, without saying their name, the Ardashians. <laughs> but with a K. <laughs> Venture to the quaint jersey community of Leeds Point in 1735. And it won't be whispers of Mother Leeds. Reach your ear. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> With a dozen children already. Oh boy! Oh boy, Mother Leeds had 13 kids, bro! And sisters! <laughs> With a dozen children already, her 13th pregnancy had turned her bitter and angry. Some say she even started dabbling in witchcraft, vowing to birth the devil. I don't know, but like if you've had like 13 kids, that's a lot. No wonder you're bitter and angry at that point. <laughs> With a thunderstorm raging, Leeds resided in a candlelit room surrounded by other women. As she endured the labor, man, they probably had to sit here 13 times, wondering, yo, Leeds, are you, aren't you tired? 13 kids? Ain't counting? What are you doing, trying to do? Make a documentary? Initially, the child appeared normal, but that lasted only for a fleeting moment. It started a grotesque transformation, rapidly growing bigger than a man with a head like a horse, wings resembling a bat, and a thick, forked tail. The monster knew no remorse, attacking all he could see, including his own mother, before flying through the chimney. From that day, the Jersey Devil has made the nearby forest, the New Jersey Pines Barrens, as his domain, sometimes showing himself to those who come near. So, moral of the story, might want to reconsider having 13 kids. <laughs> Although the tale of Mother Leeds is a popular origin story for the Jersey Devil, it's not the only one. Another is of a young girl from Leeds Point who fell in love with a British soldier during the Revolutionary War. The townspeople feeling the relationship was treasonous? Treason? Treasonous? 
place the curse on a girl, resulting in their subsequent child being the Jersey Devil. What's wrong with... Oh! Oh, it's because it's the revolution! Oh, I was gonna say... What's wrong with the British? Ah, oh, that's what's wrong with the British at the time. I see, I see. For those who don't know, the Revolutionary War is when the Americans kicked your British... <laughs> I like you guys! I love you, I love you! If you're British, you're, you're okay in my book! <laughs> you're okay in my book! Nothing wrong! Nothing wrong! <laughs> I, I like your fish and chips. That's fries, right? Or is it actually fish and chips? <laughs> hey, hey, we welcome our British brethren here. Red brethren, sister. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Another story is of a young woman who encountered a begging woman. But in her fear, the woman refused to help. And then... The, is it a bad word? I don't know if it's a bad word, but it's Ipsy with a G. It cursed her, and years later, when the woman gave birth, the child turned into a devil. Another version says that the child's father was Satan himself. Moral of the story! Uh, don't have too many kids, I guess. <laughs> but you know what else is scarier, guys? That's right. It's back to Shiori News Vela with the oncoming news from November 11, 2016. That's a lot more recent than the other things. Oh crap! <laughs> oh crap! Hold up, guys! You know what's terrifying? Everything not being perfect. That's right. <laughs> G give it a sec here. Give it a sec. Oh man, gee whiz. It's Shiori and Isabella out in the outer wilds and I don't mean the game. <laughs> hey, let's go. Alright, it is November 11, 2016. <laughs> Turning... <laughs> Turning our attention to folklore, where historian Brian Regal claims the Jersey Devil's true origins, it lies in politics, oh good god, rather than monsters and witchcraft. Centering on Daniel Leeds and later his son Titan, who lived in Burlington, New Jersey. Daniel's almanac and pamphlet sparked pushback from the Quaker community, particularly due to its use of astrology, with some calling him Satan's Harbinger. And by Quaker, I don't mean the game, nor the oats. The publications found came in competition with those written by Benjamin Franklin, that's right, the dude who took a kite and did things with it. <laughs> And that rivalry escalated when Daniel's son Titan took over. Franklin, that's right, D. Benjamin Franklin. He mocked him using astrology. He said, how dare you, you use astrology to predict Titan would die in 1773. And when that didn't happen, he joked that Titan was a ghost raised from the day. Benjamin Franklin, you an asshole. Over the years, what was once rhetoric and jokes linking Lee to the devil gradually warped into modern tales. Whatever the case, we still don't advise you to go into the Pine Barrens at night. Nor do we advise you to get on Benjamin Franklin's bad side. Dang, boy! You're making fun of his dead bro? Holy crap, Benjamin Franklin! Fra Franklin! Lost respect, you know who I prefer? The Turtle Franklin at this rate! As for how Mother Leeds got mixed into the thing, Regal's research suggests that part of the tale draws its roots to Anne Hutchinson, who lived from 1591 to 1643. She is regarded as one of America's earliest feminists. Hutchinson's 13th child had a birth defect, which Regal claimed the Puritans, whom she sparred with, called it retru retribution for her sins. Hutchinson's story eventually got mixed in with that of the Leeds to arrive at the modern myth. Dang! People suck! An 1859 Atlantic Monthly article. Over a hundred years after Titan Leeds' death and more than 200 since Hutchinson's passing, has what's believed to be the first clear written reference to the Jersey Devil. The writer, W.F. Mayer, says he met a resident of the Pine Barrens, who informed him of an old superstition of Mother Leeds giving birth to a monster still lurking in the forest. Moral of the story! Turtles are pretty good! 
People suck! Back at you, Shiori! Which Bella? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Shiori News Bella, for your report. And it seems that we are drawing close to the finale. And in 10 minutes, it is time for an open VC. I didn't forget. Mori Senpai also has an open VC in Minecraft, by the way. <laughs> Go have fun, go have fun. In the sleepy town of Point Pleasant, which doesn't seem so pleasant now, in the 1960s, there were two couples. And they were taking a nighttime drive together. Because what else is safer than a nighttime drive, right? As they passed an abandoned armory, a gray figure, at least six, fi six foot tall, so definitely no Bigfoot. With a 10-foot wingspan. Oh, that's taller than B Bigfoot, though. It flew above their car. In a panic, they sped away. But the creature gave chase, keeping pace even at speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. Only... Excuse me. <laughs> Let me drink some water. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Only light seemed to bother it. And when they finally started to return to the glow of civilization, the beast seized its pursuit. The creature's true nature remains a mystery. Some believe it's an alien from space. Above, while others insist it's from hell below. Whatever it is, though. Since that first appearance, the Mothman has made Point Pleasant its home. So that is the Mothman. The Man of Moths. Uh... <laughs> the, the, the Man of Furry Moth stuff. And you know what else is furry? I don't know where I was going in that. Hold up. Da, 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 da. I, wa I wanted to add something. Oh, there you go, there you go. Yeah, that's right. Cool. There you go. Conspiracy theories connects the Silver Bridge collapse in 1967 with Mothman sightings near the bridge, leading to some calling the Mothman a harbinger of doom. The bridge collapsed due to a small, unnoticed defect in an eye bar, which eventually cracked and corroded. Basically, it's time of misfortune. Bridge and Specs didn't find the issue until it was too late. Despite the association, Point Pleasant has come to embrace the legend of the Mothman legend, especially because that means it's more tourism, with a local museum, an annual festival, and a 12-foot statue made in 2003. The Mothman has also been the subject of books, including the 1975 title of The Mothman Prophecies, which in 2002 was made into a movie starring Richard Gere. But you know which, uh, you know, Nuzvela? You really should go out there. You got, you gotta go out there and look for the news. That's your calling, you see. You're calling for, for life, uh, Nuzvela. I'm mis mixing up who's like Vela at this time. <laughs> Who am I again? <laughs> Alright, Shiori, which Vela? At your service. Alright. And now we're back to Shiori Nuzvela. Oh gee, oh man, it's back at it's I'm back at nature. Nature sucks. It's a lot of bugs here. But you know, on this date in the Novella News Network of July 29, 2017, look at me time traveling. I don't get paid enough for this shit by you witch novella. Hey, 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 yo. We're on the air, news fella. <laughs> Watch your mouth or I'm gonna cook you. Don't tell me what to do, you bitch! You think this is enough for me? Yeah, it is. Stop that! We're on air! Continue the day- No! I'm so sick of this! I decided to be in your cauldron! You think this is enough for me? Hey, hey, look, 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 we'll talk it- we'll talk it out later, okay? We'll talk it out later. You're doing great. I'm really proud of you. You're doing a, a great job. You're doing terrific. You're lovely. You're breathtaking. You mean that? 
you really mean that? Yeah, yeah, I do. You're, do you're doing great. Look, this potion, this potion's for happiness. I'm gonna make sure that you're gonna be happy after this. Am I... If I say that, I think Clippers will take it out of context. Don't say it, then. Don't say it. It's, it's that kind of ending I see it. Don't, don't say it. Don't say it, Nusvilla. <laughs> Filter yourself. Alright, alright. Aging for you. Baby girl. <laughs> Okay, anyway, in July 29, 2017, the legendary Mothman might be back. The monster of Point Pleasant hadn't been seen recently, but a man driving near the town claimed to witness a figure leaping from tree to tree. Could have been a ninja, really. But for the sake, we're just gonna assume it's the Mothman. <laughs> The starling photos he snapped, if authentic, reveal a creature with human-like legs and massive wings silhouetted by the night sky. No one knows why the Mothman, who some believe is an omen of bad things to come, is back! Though between a local festival, museum, and statue, in a lot of ways, it never left. And honestly, if I had a festival dedicated to me, I'd come back too. That'd be pretty, that'd be pretty cool, huh? Whatever the case, Keep an eye out if you drive along those West Virginia country roads. Cannot sing that song for it's copyrighted. It's not just Point Pleasant getting Mothman sighting though. And since 2011, there have been claims of the creature being seen in Chicago. Paranormal researcher John Strickler, sorry if I doxed you, <laughs> documented 21 alleged sightings in Chicago in the first half of 2017. In all, it's believed there were 55 reported Chicago area sightings of a flying humanoid in 2017. Psychologist David A. Gallo, sorry man. <laughs> Should've used the pen name. He noted that there were all self-reported sightings and people visiting a paranormal-centric website like Strickler's. They might be more inclined to believe in things like Mothman. He also suggests that when something mysterious is reported a lot, or enters popular culture, more people will be inclined to believe. But that's the answer, if they encounter something they can't explain. Back at you, witch fella! You make that potion! Ayo, hey, let's go! Ay, 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 ay! Yeah? Ba back to you now, anytime now! Hello? Hello? Hey, it's okay, I'm here! <laughs> That's how the voice is in my head, right? Alright, you can, you can come back from your, your trip now. Oh, good god, you went from up. You're supposed to come from down. Uh, let's hold up. Uh, let's see, direction. There you go. Hold up, let me test that. It, it irks me. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You go... Yeah, look at that, baby girl. <laughs> and that is the last of our cryptids. Yeah, and let's go over a summary. While well, I, uh... <laughs> Let's go over our summary for a little bit. Uh, I'm just gonna go in this last voice chat here for 30 minutes and then we'll go right. Okay, right now it's just you and me now. It's just you and me. You and me and me and you da 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 da. <laughs> okay, so we went over Bigfoot. We went over Mermaids. Nessie. The Jersey Devil, Mothman, and we went over. I think that was it. <laughs> we had we had a little bit of uh, cryptids there. Man, I hope you liked all my assets. You know, you know, this is like a pain. You see this? You see this? Yeah, that's right. Bigfoot, mermaids. Oh, where's where's Nessie? Nessie! I I like this one. This one's fun. <laughs> and then and then tomorrow we got the Halloween thing. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Are you are you plenty scared enough, or do I have to scare you more? Boo! Oh, let me let me catch up with super chats. But 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 but. The scariest thing is if I take if I take little news Vela over here, and I start to mix her up. <gasps> then you'd be really scared, right? You'd be really scared, and then we could have a, a little potion. Where's my potion? Da ba 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 ba. It was cute. I'm glad you liked it. 
I worked hard on this! Uh, oh, here's your potion. It's the happiness potion. Now drink up! Alright! That little potion is supposed to motivate you for the week. It's gonna... it's gonna cheer you on... ...and, and tell you, hey... ...you know? You could be in a pot right now... ...and you could be turned into a potion, but you're not. So there's hope. There's hope in this week. <laughs> Why? No, no, it's okay. It's okay. She'll just respawn. She'll respawn. Alright, let me... let me catch up on things now. Let's see... Sorry from the bottom. Hit. Ace, thank you for becoming a page! Oh, we have a... we have things coming up! The, hit. Ah! Why do I keep doing that? We have the bookworm design coming up. Uh, for those who are members, you'll see it... Actually, no, the bookworm design, everyone can see. The novel knights. The novel knights help choose your design, and then they're gonna ride you soon enough. <laughs> and then... We have, uh, for the members, you're gonna have a little story. And it's gonna lead up to... Just like last month, it's gonna lead up to a little comic. And, and then we'll have the, the audio drama... The thing... Uh, the audio drama should've been released last month, honestly. <laughs> this one does not fit. It really should've been switched up, but it's too late! Ow, I hurt myself! I hurt my pinky! Okay. Chester, thank you for becoming a novel knight. Nacho! The scariest uh, thing was two weeks without internet. Oh, you'll never be able to live in like... In the past, at that rate. Sick Otter! Miss Vela, it needs to form a union. Oh! Actually, that's a really good idea! Not the union! Oh, I have I have an idea now, though. I have an idea. Okay, okay. Let's see... Uh, Spooky! Nacho, Jester, Bra, Corin. Nothing scary. <laughs> Dayon! I'm glad you liked it. Ace, Grux, I'm glad that you liked it. Why Why did you put that in uh, quotation marks? I'm assuming you're talking about my visual assets, though. Of the stream, not on me. Circle Keeper of Souls. Ivan! Exactly. Oh, a news Vela would... That would be a neat thing. Yokogo, are the voices okay? Or do they have voices in their own voices? I don't know. Savario, thank you for the support. Uh, let's see... Thank you for the SC, Kankariko, Winkio, Emanated. Thank you for becoming a bookworm. Uh, Crimson. No, no, no. Uh, uh, we like British people. We like British people. You're all welcome here. <laughs> KSTV. Thank you for the the novel night. Uh, as 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 you as you. <laughs> Rush. Uh, obscene. Alien. Jammy. Whippo. Zeddy, Robson. Uh, I should look up that. Oh, uh... I assume that's a, a cryptid. Maybe in a future thing. Uh, Sinks! Oh, karaoke stream. I'm still debating on, like, when I should do it. I uh, see, I really want to do a karaoke work stream where I just, like... I really... It's kind of like a radio stream at that point where I'm listening and singing along while working on Photoshop stuff. Pants! You can't explain pants. And I think I've caught up. From... from there. Ah, uh, real! Thank you so much for the support and Minamoto, Jo Jonai, Johnny, Johnny, Minamoto, Yokoso, Craver. Oh, that's right. We should plan that for next Halloween. But right now it's Christmas now, huh? Or Thanksgiving. <laughs> Mr. Ryan Gallon, thank you. I I hope you liked it along with my my little Shorin. Ninja sushi. Oh, sushi would be lovely. I love eating sushi. Yeah, actually, I guess we can look into the thing now. Oh, this week is gonna be so busy. So, for those who don't know... Uh, oh, hold up. It's my... I'm, I'm waiting for my Excel sheet to load. Sorry, it's actually LibreOffice. <laughs> but you guys... Some of you guys don't know what LibreOffice is, I think. Yoshi, Rowan, Zion, thank you. Oh, thank you for the, the SC. It's nice to see you, Zion. Alright, so, for those who don't know... We have Advent Halloween Party coming up tomorrow. And it's gonna be hosted on this channel. Uh... We- I've already selected the things, but I might request more to be chosen for the costumes. We also have costumes on us. Uh, not entirely sure how we'll do it just yet. So... We're gonna wear clothes! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Lance! Uh, let's see... Oh! I didn't know that. I just saw it's a band, Lance. Thank you for- thank you for the SC. <laughs> There's a lot of cryptids. I think cryptids are basically just like things you can't exactly... Based on the definition, it was like things you can't disprove with science. So honestly, Santa Claus could be like a cryptid. Crip... 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 Cryptid meaning... See, they are a creature. 
Found in stories, some people believe that they might have been seen, but you can't really prove it. So... I guess, like, I guess it depends on the culture. I remember someone in the uh, chat, I think you were asking if gnomes are cryptids? Technically... I feel like they're not. Essentially because back then, um... Height stature. Those who were at a, at a... At a height disadvantage, I feel like they just didn't have a term for it at the time. So I don't know if that one's a cryptid. Simply because... They're just short. <laughs> I'm a cryptid? Am I? Is it because I'm like, uh, I'm so mysterious? Daily dose of Shiarin! Oh, you like it? Oh, thank you, thank you! I like how you guys keep up with the, the months and stuff. I lose, I lose track of time, man. You're a cryptid? Why are you a cryptid? Do you, uh, do you ever watch the Saturdays? It's a show about cryptids. I don't think I've heard of it, no. Uh, Noxus, thank you for becoming a bookworm. I don't think I've heard of it. Oh, oh, that's right! I wanted to talk about it. Okay. So, so... Uh, and, and on the weekend... Oh, actually, let me... Let me look for your chat really quick. Do. There you go. There you go. And then... And then we'll, we'll remove this. There you go. I know... I know this one's not that active. But hey, it looks a lot prettier at least. And it moves a lot faster compared to the other thing. <laughs> I guess we'll have to commission something that works. Uh, Bunker! Oh, I see, I see. Thank you for the SC as well. Uh, over the weekend, I got to hang out with my friends. And we went to... I think I already told you about, like, the Mr. Freezy thing. I mistook Mr. Penguin and Mr. Freezy for, like, the same person. Because they had a tragic backstory. Oh, what did I say? We went to... We went to a... Those, like, haunted houses. But we, we weren't... I, I couldn't record. It's not allowed. Honestly, it would be kind of, like, dark, too. But it was pretty fun. You went to some, like, uh... It was like a warehouse, and they tried to scare you. And I took the lead. But then I felt bad, because, like, I, I don't really get spooked. I jump, I tense up, but I don't scream. So I said, like, hey, you guys can take lead. I wanted them to experience fear, you know? Because that's the point of being in there. So, we went to, like, this, uh, sort of... Uh, it's like a cemetery... I guess like maze, a cemetery maze. And it was really cool. There's like actors and actresses, and what the thing was like, my mind was too. It, it was too focused. I I purposefully look for places and corners where something could appear, and I just immediately know. <laughs> and I think I'm not meant to do that, but I, I my perception's literally too high. Bunker. Uh, oh, I already said thank you, but thank you again, Nightwolf. Thank you for the gifts and. Pepsi! That's like Pepsi Man, right? Oh, oh, it's actually a mascot! I know it was like a thing you celebrate, but I didn't know it was an actual mascot. Oh, well, well, I'm, I'm glad that you're glad. <laughs> Bumi, thank you for the SC. I'm glad that you like cryptids and meerkat warriors. So feisty, so ferocious. You grew up in an area. Oh, lots of Bigfoot themed stuff. Is that real? No, he could be real. He could just be like a man with really big feet. So, I was wandering into the maze. Uh, I really wish I could have recorded though. It'd be so cool. Oh, uh, I've been watching a lot of vlogs where people go to like scare houses. But they specifically said no pictures and no photography. Well, that's the same thing as photography. No, no nothing. You don't get absolutely jack shite. Oh, it's all, it's already open, Daily Dose. I'm already in it. <laughs> But, but it's a, it's a Halloween VC. It's just, uh... So, so I'll probably join that afterwards. To show some respect. So, I'll be, I'll be here for probably like, uh... I'm not sure, I'm not sure when she's sending. So, we'll give it like 30 minutes to 45. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then tomorrow, I gotta prepare for tomorrow. I, I, I'm, I've gotta like anxious about it to be honest. Cause it's, it's, it's a lot of setup. Uh, I need to get everyone's costumes. We're gonna... We're gonna do like a pajama party and we're gonna look at yourself... Oh, speaking of, uh... E... E7J, thank you for becoming a page in the Web Novels Cafe. Oh, nice name. I'm glad that you... you liked my stream. I'm glad, glad, glad. Let me ask, uh... Mama, Just in case. Can we have more costumes with, uh... From the hashtag of... Advent... Costume party. Just to be safe. Thank you. There you go. I have now requested. 
Oh, we have so many amazing costumes. I'm so excited to see everyone wear it. Not sure how we'll set it up, but I'm so excited. And then after that, we have the, the sports festival. The sports festival kind of confuses me because of um, the time conversions. There's so many, there's, a lot, there's like practice stuff. And I need, to, I need to make sure I got the time conversion correct. And then um, we have, I think we have two practice runs perhaps. Oh, but I'm I'm probably not gonna get any sleep. I'm not gonna get any sleep at all. Sleep impossible. Was there any funny ones I like for cryptids? I like Bigfoot only because it's like it's just a big hairy dude. <laughs> it's like my bro. What's wrong with him? What does this Velo soup taste like? Tears. It tastes just like tears. Salty and high in cholesterol, just like real soup. Oh, but, but you know, Shiorinu's Vela is uh, a really good gimmick. I kind of like the idea of it. Not sure how often I'll do it. Oh, but look at her. She's so cute. She's so cute. Oh, but you know, I can make other Shioris. Other Shioris from other, like, stories. Yeah! And then I can have multiple voices in my head. Yeah! I'm cooking now. I'm cooking. Da 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 da! Ah, Seta-kun! Thank you for the thing. Oh, but speaking of... That's right. Back to the the ho oh I I really I really want to go to those uh the big big scare houses. I got a a GoPro that you will go on your head. I'll probably look stupid though. <laughs> I'm not sure how how I'll record yet because I don't. Does anyone have experience with GoPros and like uh, recording with it out of curiosity? But I'm thinking of uh, updating my like the things I record with. I usually prefer to record with phones. Actually, no, I, I use like three things to record with. No, two things, two things. Savario! Oh, enjoy the Halloween party! No, 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 you should, you should enjoy your time with people that you care about. I mean, unless you really want to hang out, that's fine too. <laughs> ah, excuse me, but a Halloween party only comes once and the VOD stays. Sound night! Uh, I'm glad that you like news Vela. And Nokotan, happy three months as well. Thank you for supporting me. Wear a cap with a GoPro? Oh no, it's a, it's a strap. And there's a strap to it. Basically, basically, when it comes to recording, the best thing to do, or the best thing to have is a stabilizer. The only thing is that if you're self-conscious like me, you'll feel like an idiot. <laughs> you'll feel like an idiot. So, for myself, I have, uh... I think... I actually, without giving too many details, I have, uh, stabilizers for the phone. But it's more of an issue of, like, I need to be in specific locations to use it, to be honest. And then for... for the head... the head GoPro, I feel like that could be good for what I have in mind. What I have in mind, I will not spoil just yet, but perhaps in the future. Perhaps in the future. Are who Moko cryptids? They're more like myths, if you really think about it. Cause, like, to me, they're like... they're like Cerberus. But cuter and a lot more... not so spooky. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I really like watching uh, those tech channels where they get like all the latest equipment. Like, oh, this microphone's good. I have a microphone, but I don't. I don't think I have the right cord for it. I really hate the fact that. Uh, no offense to Apple or anything. I just, I just, I just prefer mangoes and, and pineapples. Cheshire and uh, Rush, thank you for the SCs. Oh, good luck with your midterm. Psychology is pretty fun. I like psychology. Mizu, uh, thank you for for three months. Thank you for supporting me and for hydrating. <laughs> Speaking of Mizu, time to drink. Orthus? Oh, I'm not too familiar with that one. Just two heads. Oh, I see, I see. Mythology Street would be pretty fun thinking about it. <gasps> write that down! Write that down! Okay, let me, let me write that down. <laughs> uh, let's see. Future idea... Mythology stream. Ah, oh, I wonder what asses I use for that. I'd probably just go in like heaven or heck. <laughs> Juan, thank you. Oh, oh, uh, thank you for it. Yes, see. Let's see. Uh, and try. I'm, I'm glad you liked it. Oh man, I actually didn't expect to go into a banter with myself. Oh, but I shouldn't be surprised. I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah, mythology stream would be really fun. It just depends on the timing of like when. Oh, and then in the future. Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm typing this down. Uh, let's see, where's my, my brainstorm? Uh, camping. But not actually camping. I'll, I'll buy fake grass just for you. And then we can have like a picnic. <laughs> a creepypasta? A creepypasta tends to be copyrighted. Actually, if you ever go to the site, 
Some are like really like some of the good ones have the the copyright information somewhere, but some of them don't. Some of them don't. So it would depend. Uh, which culture tradition? Ah, uh, it could be. I mean, it could vary. You can have more than one, Victor. I'm glad that you learned a lot. I'm glad. I'm glad. And joke time. Oh. <laughs> And Blitz, thank you for the SC as well. Happy three months to everyone. It'll, it'll be like camping! Okay, clamping? No, it'll just be on my table. You know how I do my hand camp streams? Okay, I was gonna buy fake grass. I was gonna have a picnic, uh, like a picnic basket. And um, I guess we just eat on my table. <laughs> oh, but, but, but here's the thing. I could have a fake fire, except it's a real fire. But then the, there's a, here's the thing, my room is full of electronics, so I don't think having a fire in my room would be a very smart idea, especially because I'm gonna be using uh, isopropyl alcohol to set it on fire, and you guys gotta know I'm a ditz, so I don't think it'd be a very I don't think it'd be very safe. SCP that probably probably that's copyrighted I'm pretty sure. Ah uh, let's see. Oh, hello, Siren! Oh, good luck with your midterms! Oh, also, good job on the piano playing! I'm really proud of you! Da da da, uh, creepypastas? Oh, that'd be interesting! We'll see, we'll see! The band, the band. Uh, ba da ba 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 You think it's a bad idea? No fire? Oh, but I really want fire! I, you know those, like, little marshmallow things? It's like, uh, it's like a candle. But it's, like, real fire. <laughs> oh, we could, we could have a thing in there! This sounds like a bad idea! Rubbing alcohol? Use a candle? Oh, but the candles are not big. Like, I need- I need a big fire. Do it in the pool just to be safe? I thought about bringing a pool in here, but I think I'd ruin the place. I don't think- I don't think the... The apartment people would be very happy. I see surprised. Oh, yeah, yeah, for research. I have- I have friends helping me at times. There's too much to do. I prepare the assets. Uh, usually the credits are always in the description. So you'll see it there, you'll see it there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for the SC, Grux. Ba -ba -ba -ba. No, there's still so many. I really want to have a campfire, though. I really want to have a campfire. Ba -ba -ba. Stream outside. Oh, no, I don't think streaming outside would be safe. Pretty sure that would just suck. <laughs> you know, you know there's that one dude. I forgot his name. Wasn't he here that they just do it, dude? Just do it! I, I heard a story that, like, um, he took a picture of the stars, I think. He took a picture and then people, like, found where he was or something. So, yeah, that's not a very good idea. I don't think it's a very poggers idea. <laughs> so, let's see. It's usually no bueno. Oh. Oh, wait, Shia? That's the dude who did Transformers, right? That's the Transformers guy, right? Oh, you know what's funny? They had a... I don't even remember her name. But he had like that co-worker and she appeared I think for two movies. But then she didn't make a comeback. They they replaced her with some Victoria's Secret model, I think. <laughs> uh Cheek! Uh, what? He doesn't need therapy? Oh man, I debated on having a therapy stream though. But no, that you guys would get too sad for me, so I debated against it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Then again, every stream is kinda like this, huh? Chebby, uh thank you for the SC and Yoshi a Hibachi for fire. Let me look into that. I thought... Oh, it was a Megan Fox? Oh! All I know is that she got replaced by the, the girl. And he, and I think they kind of like made... What's it called? Like snide comments related to her? I, don't, I think it's just she didn't feel like she was getting paid enough or something. Lucas! Thank you for becoming a page and Rai. Happy three months as well. Um, let's see... Let me look at a hibachi grill. Oh, but see, I want real fire. It doesn't look like a campfire if it's not real fire. Oh no, they're just recommending me like real places to go to. <laughs> oh, speaking of hibachi stuff, when I go there, I can actually get the thing. Like if I, when they say like, uh, okay, open your mouth, it's time to get the the thing. And then like ah, and I ah ah ah, I I managed to get it. I managed to get it. So it's like, dang, I guess I have decent aim, at least to some extent. <laughs> oh, she had a fight. Oh, I see, I see. Dang, I I just kind of. It's a little bit unprofessional to, uh... Make a snipe comment in a movie, though. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Did, no, wait, is that real? Was it really because they were sleeping? Oh, oh, speaking of! 
I bought the entire set of Twilight so I can like watch it and we could talk about it. But I'm only gonna talk about the movie. I'm not gonna read the books. Sorry, I don't got time for that crap. Movie though, we can. I got the entire set. It was on sale. <laughs> Um, Kocho, thank you for the gifts. Thank you so much for, for gifting. And Zalfus, uh, Old World's Description of Animals, Artistic Depictions. Um... I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I have to think about, like, the sustainability of finding enough information. So, I'll think of, I'll think about that. Uh, let's see. What, what did I say? Oh, no? What? Oh wait, but I've never seen Twilight before! I've never seen Twilight! I know like the basic wiki summary with with the wolf dude. It's pretty freaked up. He's just like Sashomaru. <laughs> He's just like Sashomaru at the straight. But but I okay, will you watch it with me? A watch along? Would it be a watch along? I just thought we could just talk about it. It'll be like a conversation piece. Like you know, like um a, a conversation starter? No no no, like a table piece. But it'll be like Twilight. <laughs> the entire set. Skirto, thank you for gifting. Thank you so much. It's so bad, but but it'll be a, it'll be like a Zatsudan thing, guys. Think about it. Think about it. We don't have to watch along. You have to watch beforehand, or would a watch along be better? I but oh, but it's I think it's Blu-ray. Um, I think I think a PS5 can play Blu-ray, right? Can it? I barely touched my PS5. Really, I haven't played the Liza P thing in like since I started it. By the way. Like a book club, yeah, 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 yeah. It'll be a movie club. Oh, oh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take notes. I'm gonna do like timestamps and everything. <laughs> Would you rather do a watch along? Uh, but, oh, oh. Speaking of, speaking of, let me, let me think for you. Uh, Morning Star. I'm. I hope that your weekend is a lot better now. Actually, it's the end of the weekend now. That I think about it. I hope your next weekend is a lot better. And balloon, thank you for the thing and uh, elite. You want to do a watch along? You would watch it. Do it for the content. Oh, but you would have to... You would have to buy Twilight. Or you could get it on Tubesy. I ended up realizing it was actually on Tubesy all this time. But I already bought it, so it's too late now. Oh! Also, while I was hanging out with my friends. Okay, so... So... We were, we were like, uh... Just like biding for time to go to the haunted house stuff, right? And I had to... I, I had to go return the slab or suffer his curse. And it was like so cr the world was so cruel. We were like in the depths of the deep nest, aka the city. <laughs> and if I I I trust the CVS, I asked like you know CVS usually let's use it or like uh, some sort of like pharmaceutical place, something like that, right? Usually they have restrooms, but in the city, deep in the deep nest, I don't think they let you do that. It doesn't exist. Only employees. I was. I felt so betrayed. I was like, "How am I gonna return to slime? I'm gonna suffer its curse now." So, so we had to drive around for quite a while, and like thinking, "I'm. What is the best place? What if we just stop at a restaurant?" But then they're like, "You gotta order something." Oh man. Okay, but like you could you could order like something to go, you know? But no, you gotta order something. Sure, or they're gonna hate you. It's like, oh no. But you know what saved me? Actually, hold up. Let me before I say this. Okay. Uh, hold up. All right. There's this one particular store that I'm not gonna mention. <laughs> I mean, I could. I'm pretty sure it's not like freaking rare. It's not like a rare Pokemon. Yeah. Look at me. I'm so smart. <laughs> Look at this. Zoom. Enhance. Uh, maps! Okay, this is one, this is one store that I, I was, I was surprised, but it felt like a savior. It, it showed up in like, a like in, in radiant light, like a halo of glowing light. And it, it reached its hand for me, and it said, Shiori, we have a restroom here. So I said, oh, we can go there, we can go there, let's go, let's go. So we went there. We went there, and their restroom was actually not that bad. I mean, someone was shitting in it, and that's all pretty bad. <laughs> but it was actually pretty clean. I just happened to have, like, really bad timing that there was hap- There was someone... Having... 
a very stinky idol meeting in there. And all I wanted was a very simplistic, a very simplistic time. I was like speed running, okay? Just like, look, I just need to be here for five seconds and I'm out. But now, now I have to sit here and... S <laughs> Return to slabs is a lot more innocent, you know? But this person, they're doing a lot more than slabs right here. <laughs> I was like, and you know what? What I'm like, I'm really self-conscious about like knocking against a door that's full of like, you know, that it has someone in it. It has someone in wait lying in there. Waiting to ambush you. So I had to I had to make sure that everything was like safe, you know. So I went in the first door that looked like it could go in, and then I, I saw I saw, I, I, went, I took a like, little little peek see right right? Right? And then I saw shoes. And then I was still wearing, um... I was still wearing, like, my full set of armor. <laughs> but I was surprised that I could... Dang! This does not filter anything. <laughs> oh, but you know... You know what's great? If you go to a, a car dealership... Now they have really nice restrooms. My good god, I it feels so safe. Like if there's a tornado happening, I could just go in the restroom. It's just like no hole at the bottom at all. It is like a solid brick. Sorry, not brick. A solid wooden door. Like a few inches, right? And it feels so smooth. It's like wow, this is like this is a sanctuary. Like, dang, this is a really fancy place. I was like, man, even even their sinks had rocks in there. Even the sinks had rocks. I'm like, the thing. Why put rocks here? So inefficient. <laughs> is this a, is this preventing like splashes or something? Oh, but you know what they didn't have? They didn't have a popcorn machine. I like it when car dealerships have popcorn machine. <laughs> That's easy. I like it when they have popcorn machines. That's... That's pretty nice. Oh, actually, I guess... Oh, but car dealerships are like far and few, like... They're, they're, they're kind of like rare Pokemon. They'd really spread out, right? Right? Pavilions? What's that? Isn't that like a... Uh, 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 what's it called? Like a garden gazebo? <laughs> People was in the sink? Well, she... She was doing a great job. Great job, uh... Keeping it rock-friendly or something. <laughs> Did it make me want to buy a car? No, I don't even- I don't even care for driving, honestly. A scary walrus ticket for the SC, in case I didn't say it. Uh, let's see. Oh, speaking of, I was gonna talk about the Twilight Girl. Alright, she slept with the, the director for... For that movie. Oh, man. Poor Edward. Poor Edward. But I think he's doing a lot better now. He's Batman now. Didn't she get married, actually? She got, she got me. Oh, and then speaking of my friends, we also did a, a test. Let me, let me look at it. It's like, what shape are you? It's from, it's get, uh, given to me by one of my friends. Hold up. Uh, ba da ba ba. Uh, let's see. Okay, hold on. I'm looking for the. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh shoot! I left the voice chat. That's right. I was in that voice chat. Oh crap! Oh, it's too late. I'm already in here. I'm already in here. Okay. Ignore those signs. Ignore the symbols. Cobra, thank you for the support. I thought you already did an oath last time. <laughs> hold up. I need to look for the test. I need to look for the test. Ignore those. Uh, test, test. Oh, good God. My friends talk to me so much. Oh, this one. Okay, I don't think I can link it. It's what shape are you? Triangle or square? What does your personality... And then I can't read it. I think it's from a realme.com. What shape are you? Yeah, you hear that? Okay, I gotta go back to the... To my empty voice chat. <laughs> there you go, there you go. I think it's too late. But anyway... Um... It's a, a... What shape are you? Oh crap, I think I messed everything up. It's okay. It's okay. That's just life, right? Uh... Da -da -da -da. Let me... Let me reset here. Maybe if I go in here. Oh no, it's too late. Okay, whatever. Uh... I'll just leave. <laughs> My OCD does not fare well with this. Oh, there you are. <gasps> She's working. At least you're here, my little... My little pot fella. Oh. There you go. What was I talking about? I forgot. I forgot. Someone tell me. Oh, what shape are you from a real me dot com? I said I'm a squircle. I said I'm a I'm a squircle. I'm like a very edgy shape, but my corners are round and safe, kind of like safety scissors. And uh, what was my result? Uh, do I have my phone with me? I gave that test to like all all my friends. 
And then we shared results. And I also made fun of my friends. <laughs> I made fun of my friends too, of course. Uh, Squircle. Let's see. Where is it? Oh, and I kept sending them stuff from my, uh, like pictures. Oh, here it is. Here it is. A squircle. Yeah, yeah. It's like a humble, calm temperament. I, I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe seemingly calm, right? They have an adventurous side. It's a circle and a square. And it looks like it's really unamused, which kind of makes sense, honestly. Ah, uh, oh, and then there's like, um, other shapes like clouds. I don't know why, man. I don't know why. <laughs> Hello, Song. Welcome, welcome. Are so safe with scissors? You can have safety scissors. They don't stab you as hard. They still stab, but not as hard, you know? You want me to be a triangle with a tangent? No, I'm a squircle. I'm a safe shape. You know, like, uh, the sharp corners? And, oh man, you know, I always bump into sharp corners. Back then, anyway. Not, not nowadays. But I, I used to bump into them so much that I would bruise myself. Okay, but imagine I'm like a corner, but I have uh, the safety edge to it. That's that's me, that's me. You can bump into me and you won't get hurt, but I'll get hurt probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shapes have personalities. Oh, but anyway... Uh, you already know, you already know my friend, so I'll say like who sent it. It was uh, Lil Yana. John, thank you for watching. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad that you're having a good time. So Yana sent it to me and... and... I said like, uh, oh, I wonder what shape you'll get. And actually, I, I made fun of her and another friend, actually. <laughs> this is from her. Oh, I think... Oh, is it is it bad to make this joke? Oh, but I saw Kiara Senpai make the joke. When she says like, you're you're not you're not straight, you know, you're like the other thing. <laughs> is, it, is it bad or is it not bad? That's just how my friends and I joke, though. But anyway, I said that, oh, your shape's probably this. <laughs> And then she said that, yeah, probably. <laughs> she got a heart. She got a heart, by the way. And then I sent my, my friends the, the test. And one of them... One of them had, like, a, an arrow as a personality test. And I said, like, uh, that's that's a total lie. That's a total lie. You should. You were definitely not an arrow. <laughs> and she said, like, yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> So, so that was the thing. And then one of my friends got a cloud. And, uh, oh, what did I say? Oh, actually, funnily enough, the person who got the arrow, according to the test, they're supposed to be shipped with the person with a cloud. And I, I'm thinking, yeah, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> that's, that's definitely impossible. <laughs> so, so that was it. Do I boost easily? Uh, I think so. Maybe. Probably. So, uh, what else? Let me look. Let me look at the results. Okay, one of them got a square. I think we were all different shapes. And, and one of my friends got a lightning bolt. Oh, finally... Oh, oh, and then one of my friends also got a trapezoid. <laughs> Whatever the frick that means, right? <laughs> oh, and then, like, uh, some of them are like, Oh, this shape is supposed to fall off with that one, and that shape is gonna blah 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 blah. So I told my friend, Hey, according to this, you're supposed to like my friend. <laughs> And then they're like, yeah, let's not. <laughs> you got a square? Oh, you got the same thing as my friend, too. Cloud. Oh, that's good. That's good. My friend did, too. I got Squircle and one got a lightning rod. Oh, oh, and speaking of, uh, what was another thing I wanted to talk about? Oh, I forgot, I forgot. Let me drink water, though, while I'm trying to think. Oh, I asked my friends. I asked my friends. <laughs> I asked my friends because I'm seriously curious. It's it, it, I'm I'm literally it's impossible. Okay, okay, for those who those who like watch me and stuff, which is you guys, I guess you're here. Oh, uh, the test is at a real me .com. It's like what shape are you? I can't link it though. I'm I'm, I'm probably not allowed to link it just to keep me safe. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with squares. Squares are like boxes. And you can hide in them. Hey, a cloud's a shape, okay? If the internet says so, it's a shape now. <laughs> okay, but, but, uh, 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 I asked my friends. Oh, uh, I was talking to my chat and about, like, uh... Like, like, there's people like me. And then I asked them, have you guys met anyone else like me? And they grew quiet. <laughs> 
they grew quiet. And they hesitated. And they went like, well... Um... <laughs> I'm like, what? What is this? And then I started listening to my other friends, you know? Like, like... Well, okay, what about them? What about them? Aren't they kind of like that? And they agree. There's this, there's this mutual friend we have. That is at least sort of like... They're like an endangered species. You know? Like, I could, I could agree. Yeah, they're, they're definitely an endangered species if you think about it. But then they look at me, and they also have those same, like, judgment eyes. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, Shiori, you're kind of, uh, unique. <laughs> It's like, what? Am I like an alien? Nah, you just haven't met anyone like me yet. You just haven't, you haven't met them yet. <laughs> and then they said, you keep saying that on your streams still. They're like, it has, there has to be another person like me. You just haven't met them yet. <laughs> and then it was like, Shiori, we met like a hundred people in our lifetime by now. And I told them you just haven't met them yet. <laughs> No, it's impossible. There's, oh, come on, there's like eight, eight billion people in the world, or seven million, and going down. I, am I? Am I okay? The S team also said I'm one of a guy. No, 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 no. You just haven't met them yet. You just haven't met like Shiori 2.0. I'm like, heck, I'm, I'm just like, I'm not even the prototype. I'm sure someone in the 1700s was just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> Is that, uh, the menarchy talk? I can go over that if you want, S-team. <laughs> no, no. Oh, if you really think about it, imagine, like, a... a version of me. But in the past. Like, in the Industrial Revolution, or, or... the Reign of Terror, but French. French Vela. I'll be like, oh, ho, ho, ho! Bonjour! Let me cut off your head now! Wee, 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 wee! <laughs> Oh, imagine me as like a, an executioner. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh man, I'd be cracking up jokes while popping up heads. What's it called? Capping up heads? What's the what's the Darisa talk? The gangster talk? How do you do it? Busting a cap? Busting some ass? Oh, how do you say it? I don't know how to do it. Oh, I'll wait. I'll wait for the chat delay. You guys are so smart. It's busting a cap, I think. Busting the French. Wee oui, wee, oui. hun hun. <laughs> uh, let's see. No, it's okay. I have a friend who's French. He knows I do this all the time. <laughs> In fact, that's the one defining trait of his. You're French. <laughs> oh, is it Papa? Oh, busting a cat. Pop popping fools. Oh, I don't think I can. I don't think I can talk like this. Oh man, I like it when Risa talks like that. It's very funny. It's like, you're so silly, Risa. <laughs> you're so silly. You think, you think... Oh, you're... I'm sure you're super unique too, Zavario. See? You're probably just like me then. Oh no, the chat is frozen in fear. It's frozen in fear for me. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's Papa Cap? Papa Cap? That's like some Fallout talk right there. Uh, Remy, thank you, Boxman. Uh, is that is that safe to to say? Ooh. Oh, I'ma ask. I've never. I don't remember. I only know that term because of buses. Is is this? Is <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> is what what is uh a sin but with a B in front. I've never heard of that before. Oh, it is safe. What does it mean? Is it like Boston? <laughs> this is your deep, deepest travel streaks. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And Jake, thank you. Oh! Oh! Don't say it. Don't say it. Oh, I see. I see. Oh. I I don't know what it means. What is that car thing? Car. Car C. Car C. Oh. Hey? There, the S team is teaching me lingo now. I've never heard of it before. It's like if there's good food, you're eating it, you could say, Yo, this food is... Uh. Who the heck talks like that? Is... <laughs> what? Okay, look, no offense to the S team. No offense. Hey, hey, you're teaching me slang. No, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. I've never eaten food and I'd be like, yo, hey, yo, I'm a... Uh, this, this be good for real, for real. I've never, I've never used that term though. 
Wait, it's for food? Oh, I need to go Google this. I actually... I don't keep up with language. I only know things if people show it in a sea of, um... Like the meme channels. Uh, Foley, thank you, and Exarch. Uh... Marie Antoinette? Why? What? Let them eat cake? She didn't even say that, by the way. Poor girl. I mean, to be fair, she probably sucked at spending. She spent too much. Foley. Uh, let's see... You were like a uh, Sly Cooper? Oh... That means that you're like... A raccoon. That is a raccoon, right? Balloon. It means poppin'. Oh... Not to be confused with the... The other word. Oh, lantern. Welcome, welcome. Uh... <laughs> It's good... It's a reference for good food. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, but you guys don't want to teach me that. My vocabulary already sucks. Let me... Let me check. More examples. Something really amazing. Oh... This film looks... Bussin. Did I say it right? Hey, you look... You look mighty bussin. Did I do it right? Did I do it right? It's where your hair goes white. Oh, I'm half Mary Maria Antoinette syndrome. Oh, I see what you mean. You're talking about the the thing. I thought you were talking about how shitty she spent. Oh, that reminds me. I played this uh this dress up game. I think it's like Time Princess, and you can play as Marie Antoinette. Is it is it Maria Antoinette? Maria, Maria Antoinette. Oh, it is Marie. She had kids. I don't know what happened to her kids though. Probably killed them off early. But, but, um, you could play as Marie Antoinette, and then you have choices to, like, fall in love with Lafayette. Um... You st stick, uh, stick, stick your guns to Napoleon. And, uh, probably this other forgettable character, not gonna lie. Oh, man! I need to look at the game. There was so much grindy. It, was, it had too much grinding. Um, Time Princess. Marie route. I liked it, though! Oh, that's right! You had this one dude! Okay, you had like, uh, three options of romance. Maybe four. I don't know that other dude. The other dude looks kind of creepy deaky. <laughs> I'm so lovely. Thank you, LSR. Okay, so you got four, four options. Um... One of them, it, he goes away, but I think he's like your childhood love. I don't know what he is. I think he could have been like your old romance for Marie. And, oh, Reign of Terror is fun, by the way. Not so much for the people getting beheaded, but it's fun to study. Uh, Robespierre is kind of cuckoo, though. So, in, in Time Princess... Uh, you have Lafayette. I think... I think it's Lafayette. And... Oh, I said... And then, um... He goes to... to America to fight or something, and then he comes back. But you're already with Napoleon. Oh, sorry, you're not with Napoleon! Oh shoot, you're with Louis! 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 Oh frick, I forgot his name! Louis the 14th, was it? I don't know, it's one of the Louis. The one that sucked. Louis the 16th, probably. Louis... Uh... Okay. Reign... No, uh, French... Revolution... Louis... Uh, I think it's Louis the 16th. Yeah, 14th was the Sun King, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe I'm making that up. Ah, oh, man, I studied this. This is my favorite thing. Yeah, yeah, you were with Louis the Sixteen, And he probably didn't know how to, like, not spend crap. And, uh, it looks like there's another dude, but I don't remember him. It's not very memorable. Oh, and then another, like, uh, another hero shows up. And he's, like, your bodyguard. I think. Anyway, I think they all sucked except one of them. I think the childhood romance was kind of okay. Because he was like, more human compared to the others. That is Louis the Sixteenth? Yeah, okay, it makes sense, it makes sense. This is Time Princess, it's a mobile game, it's a mobile game. He was a Sun King, yeah, 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 he did a great job. And then his descendants fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, if you ever want to study it... For me, for me personally... Ah... Uh... I remember studying, uh, Lutherism. Was that Lutherism? The, the, ah, uh, ah, uh, he was a, he was like a monk. Or a priest. I forget. It's been a while, okay? But he started like, a, a religion. I think he was German. He was a German dude. I think he was the original Martin Luther, actually. Am I correct or am I wrong? Uh, but he was German. I'm gonna, German monk. Oh, yeah, I am correct. Cool. I didn't pull this trivia out of my butt. Cool, cool, cool. Martin Luther. Um, he was a, a pastor and a church reformer. I kind of like studying that. It's been so long, though. Yeah, yeah. This was uh, one of like, the, the originals, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that was fun to study. 
There were the, what else was fun to study? Reign of Terror, the French Revolution, not, uh, not really. I think that was when... If I'm trying to remember correctly, 1793 and 94 was the Reign of Terror. French Revolution was probably 1789 to 93, something like that. Not so fun, kind of boring. Um, all you need to know is that they beheaded the, the monarchs. And... Oh, oh, Napoleon! Oh, but all he did was fight like the Russian war in like, uh... 1812? Oh, he lost, by the way! You know what? He lost the Russian winter, which is also a really good Hitalia song. <laughs> Look at those tangents! Hold up, I want to hear that song again. Rush, Russian winter, Hitalia. <laughs> is it that song? Yeah, it is! It is! I think I remember liking it. Hold up, I'm gonna mute the audio real quick. I just want to hear this. <laughs> it, I think it's like a rock song. Oh, heck yeah! You guys can't hear it. Uh, yeah, there's like there's like a church choir going on. Listen to it. Dum ba ba bum ba bum. Oh man, I don't. Even, oh, I think I got into this because that one friend who was like uh, not a backstabber, but she was a shitey friend. <laughs> she also got pregnant too early. <laughs> oh heck yeah, this song. Woo 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 woo. You can't hear it. Da 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 Okay, I'm gonna add it to my... to my... I'm gonna add it to my list. Uh, okay, this one. With lyrics? It's a little... it's a little longer than the original? Hell yeah, let's go! Save... into my... my playlist. There you go, okay? There you go. Thank, thank you. Here, here's the sound of the wind now. <laughs> no, no, not that early. Um, but I think she did get pregnant before marriage. She got, she got pregnant early in terms of, not, not as early as the others, I guess. So it's like you know, at least, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe they were just like too. To they they were really wanting that golden ticket, you know what I'm saying? For, from the Willy Wonka factory? I don't know, maybe they just really wanted it or something. <laughs> oh, he went hunting for the jersey. Oh! Oh no! Oh wait, am I allowed to mention this? I don't think I'm allowed to mention this. Okay. Without going into detail, uh there was there was a there was once okay, in the co okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna replace a lot of words just to be safe. Uh in the assassination of the monarchs in Duskar, there was uh, a dude who like killed Dimitri's uh, dad, right? Okay, well, well, in the future, I think some years later, the brother of the dude who killed Dimitri's dad, he ends up saving Dimitri from another attempted uh, assassination in that time. And that was kind of ironic because he's the dude of... He's the bro of the dude who killed Dimitri's dad in Duskar. <laughs> you know, you know? You, you, some of you guys might be able to piece it out. <laughs> I don't know why I mentioned that, actually. I don't know. Oh, but it's related to history. Oh, that's why I mentioned it. That's why I mentioned it. It's because... It's because it's related to history and we were talking about history. Uh, I don't want to say it, just the case, but it is it is a, a historical thing that did happen. Revelant, thank you for the gift and the fly. I hope that you turn that sea into like a... At least into a... Gr is this a less... A greater sign symbol. Pickle Man, thank you for the thing. And Luna Moth and Dubby and Unknown Chair, Sin, Ryan. And I think I caught up. So, oh, Dynamotic. D Dynamatic? I think, I think you got it. Okay, it's it's all it's it's all an American history. That's probably why some don't know. Uh, not not Lincoln. No no no. Other dude. Modern dude. Modern dude. <laughs> uh, you know how EDF has three letters in it? EDF. But but this one is also three letters. But it's more like an acronym for his whole name, probably. <laughs> so so that's what I was referring to. But yeah. Oh, oh, okay. You, you, yeah, you got it. Yeah, what have you got it? What have you got it? I immediately see it. Shall not refer, just in case. You got it, though. You know, you know it. You know your history. You know your history for, for you. Yeah, yeah, you guys are getting it. 
<laughs> For those who didn't know, um... Wait! No, no, I think I think it's a dude. Wait, wait, am I mixing it up with Lincoln, actually? <laughs> no, I think you're right! Oh, shoot, I mixed it up! It was with Lincoln! <laughs> wait, oh, fuck, I messed up my history! <laughs> I think you're right! I think he saved uh, his son, actually. <laughs> oh, my good god! Okay, no, sorry, I completely misread... I, I gave you a red herring. But I'm glad that you know your history. <laughs> no, you were right. It's a dude on that dollar bill. <laughs> hey, but sorry. There's like two of them. Okay, I mixed them up. <laughs> You're so smart. You're so smart. You're so smart. <laughs> okay, you got it. It's the dude with the tall, 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 tall hat. <laughs> yeah, I think he saved his son. Oh, the only reason I know is because I watched uh, Abraham Lincoln versus vampires. <laughs> My bad, my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought I thought I got it. That explains why, like, why did I remember a train? Trains don't... They don't get used to round as often in the modern times at this point. <laughs> oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Then someone tried to push him off towards a train. And this dude, which was the brother of the other dude, was like, Hey, yo, I'm saving your butt. And then they realize, like, hey, you're, you're the brother of that dude. And like, hey, yo, yeah, sorry about what my brood is. And he's like, yeah, hey, yo, that's okay. You saved me. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, I watched Link, um, Abraham Lincoln versus Vampires or something. It wasn't a good movie, I'm sorry. Oh, you know what sucked? There was a vampire he befriended. He was gonna offer him, like, eternal life. And Lincoln was like, nah, fam, I'm good being human. Look at me, I destroyed a bunch of vampires. <laughs> <laughs> I destroyed them all, all of them, you know, all except you anyway, and, and, and other stuff. And then the dude was like, hey, yo, okay, you go enjoy that opera now. <laughs> it's like, holy shit, what a way to freaking end the movie. And then there's like a giant time skip. There's this other dude who also wants revenge, because the only reason Abraham became a vampire hunter was because someone like destroyed people. So that was, uh, that was what happened. Uh, oh, sure, uh, sure. Uh, da -da. Okay, hold up. Da -ba -ba. All right, all right. So that's that's the only reason I remember this. He was just like, I, I, who did he kill? I don't remember. He killed a bunch of vampires because they just. Oh, I think they killed his dad. They did call, they destroyed his papa. It was like Red Dead Redemption. I haven't played that game by the way. <laughs> Uh, go join to say hi. There you go. It was, uh... Oh, crap. Oh, and he found love, too. He found love in there. Oh, and you know what? He sacrificed his son. But, but actually, it makes sense, though. Oh, but she was so pissed. His wife was freaking pissed. He had a son in there. The son was bitten by a vampire. And they said, like, well, if you want the, uh... If you want the... The whatchamacallit? Like the heal, the elixir, the healing thing. You gotta, you gotta come here. You gotta, you gotta lose. Oh no. Hold up, friends, come first. <laughs> uh, ba 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 ba. Uh, let's see. I, I wanna, I kinda wanna play Red Dead Redemption 2. I kinda wanna play it. Oh, it was a fun game. I only played online though, but I accidentally. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not gonna talk about. It. I don't remember too much. I just remember a crocodile killed me. It'll be a wild watch along for. Oh, but it wasn't that fun of a movie though. Oh no. Don't worry, I'm just- I'm just getting bugged. <laughs> it's okay, you can't bug me! But, 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 yeah. Are you- uh, wait, is it a- it's a very immersive game? I kinda wanna play it. Uh, I'm gonna suck at it, though. Oh, do we have promise for it? Oh... Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, Bubba? What's that? Da, 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 da. You like Red Dead? Oh, you know? Oh, that's right! 
Okay, this is completely unrelated to, to Red Dead Redemption now. This is completely unrelated. But I had, um... Oh, man, I remember. Okay, so I used to play Minecraft with some of my friends, right? Before, before we all kind of... Got tired of Minecraft at the time. This is like before Elytra's and all that stuff. It is called Elytra, right? I keep calling it Elytra. Ah, uh, suki, arigato, oh, trick or cheese. Da 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 ba ba. Revelance in the fight. Pickle man and Luna moth. Thank you. Oh, you should. Okay, okay. Uh, we have like. I th the reason I could find some perms is because like we we like migrated to some other site, so I have to find that thing. <laughs> oh. No, no, Hidden Bus has, has enough hair. Oh, you know what we should do? We should do like a uh, what you call it? Uh, uh, um, like those things. Oh, oh, we should decide something for Hen Mama. I wanna. Oh no, I can't let them. I can't let it know here because then it would spoil the surprise. But we should do a mascot, and then and then we could draw them. Oh no, I can't spoil it. But you kind of get my idea, right? Like a like a baby Shiori and like a <laughs> like a, an aging grandma Hen Mama. <laughs> Maybe in the future. In the future. But but that'd be nice. That'd be nice. But I used to play uh, Minecraft. And... When when you could get the, the little the saddle CZ, I got a horse. And at the time... Okay, it's kind of funny because the voice actor for this character is also Dimitri's voice actor in the Japanese edition. I had a crush on Louis from Code Vein. So when I got the horse, I, I brought it home and then I named it Louis. And it just like... It just stayed there, you know? Louis was just forever safe, and then I had an extra horse. Just in case, like, you know, this is the horse to be sacrificed, essentially. <laughs> but yeah, I should play Red Dead Redemption. It's, uh, oh, fighting a mummy. Oh, I'm not too familiar with it. Super liminal. Oh, so Bunker, thank you for the SC. Oh, oh, I know the game. I know the game real. It's kind of slow paced, though. I am aware of it, though. I did play it. Hand mama mascot would be cute. Yeah, yeah, it would. You want an office lady? I was thinking of like, um... You know, like Muriel from Courage, a cowardly dog? Okay, but like Muriel with, uh... With the, the rolling pin. And then they have like curled... Curled eye... What is it called? Curled iron in the hair? Kind of like that. But hand mama would be a cat. So that doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> or, or, or... Office worker hand mama. And they have like a cup of coffee all the time. No, no, Hemma, Hemma must have dude. <laughs> I really should call him Hen Papa, but Hemma rolls off the tongue better, you know? Super Lemon was amazing. I like it! But in terms of streaming, I would have to be like, uh... I'd have to talk non-stop for it. Oh, I already own Red Dead, for the, uh, Red Dead Redemption. Oh, okay! I also, I'm curious about The Witcher 3 as well, to be honest. Is it a curling iron? Oh... Oh, curlers, curlers, yeah, in the hair. But they'd be a cat, so it makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, tired office worker head mama. There was a meme someone posted. It was like, um, at the left was me saying like, I'm about to start stream now. Are you there, Henma? Hen mama? And head mama looks like a tired, like they've aged 20 years. And they're like, yes, yeah, shiori. <laughs> someone posted that. <laughs> so I thought it was, uh, pretty amusing. You like me talking non-stop? Oh, yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, um, if I talk non-stop, that also means, like, my voice gets a lot more tired, essentially. <laughs> yeah, Witcher 3, Witcher 3 would be a long game. Plus, there's titties. But I think, I think it should be okay. Not the titties, but, like, I think the game should be okay, right? I want to play uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Witcher 3, so maybe someday. That'll be, like, an ongoing series. Okay, I have to, I'm gonna go raid into, uh, Senpai's thing. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I think I have, uh, something coming up. So, let's see. I'll try to make it there, but it depends on the timing of this. So, thank you for watching me. Um, tomorrow is the Halloween thing. We're gonna have the Advent party, and we're just gonna spend time, chill out, bring some candy and munch on it, if you want, or eat dinner. And I hope you have fun. Ah, excuse me. Ah, excuse me. <laughs> All I know is there's... <laughs> ah, there's titties. Also, also, you um, there's a a man. Uh, what's his name? Gerald. He only he has like a girlfriend. I forgot her name though. Like uh, the black-haired woman or something. Uh, and then there's this girl that I think he had a thing with. I don't know. I'm just gonna make Gerald. <laughs> I'm gonna make him not have anyone. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Alright, I gotta go da, 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 look into something now. So we gotta we gotta raid into Mori Senpai's thing for her her thing. 
So, I hope, uh, let's redo it. End song. Oh shoot, oh shoot, there's more than one music playing! There you go. Thank you for watching me. I hope you have fun at the... I hope you had fun with the cryptid stream. And, uh... And all my tangents, and I mixed up my history. But that's okay! To be fair, I'm not of this world, so that's fine! I'm like an endangered species. So... Gianni! Mwah!